everyone, it's Julia. I'm working with these wonderful birdhouses. This, they came on a pillow sham that I thrifted. And I will put that um, thrift haul down below for you. I did a trip to the thrift store. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But there was three of these wonderful birdhouses on this pillow sham. One of the birdhouses I already used in another project. I put it on the back of a shirt and that actually sold at the summer shop. But I have these two left and I thought these are gonna make just a wonderful fabric, journal fabric, fabric journal cover. Um, felt it needed a little bit more body so I am ironing on a piece of fusible foam to the back of it. And that just gave it a nice, still soft, but a nice weight to it. I have this Biggs die that's birds and I don't believe it's available. It's, I think it's discontinued. But I'm running two different colors of fabric through this and I have the heat and bond light on the back of these fabrics. I know there is another birds die that is available and I will link that down below in the description. But I made a sandwich and I'm running this through my, my, my big shot. You can actually go up to four different four layers of fabric with these big dies. There's a sitting bird and a, a standing bird on on this die. So I've got four birds that I'm going to be working with. And I also have a couple phrases. One says home is wherever I am with you and the other one is let's stay home and cuddle. Just rearranging these birds on the front. I, I love how the colors are all going together, but I felt like that blue bird needed some contrast. And so I cut the wing off of the, one of the, the brown bird and put it on the other bird, or the blue bird. And you'll see me do that here in a second. Just removing that paper backing, and then we'll be pressing this into place. To my sewing machine, I'm going to attach these with free motion stitching. I have a, a camel colored thread on. I'm just going to edge stitch these and then I'm going to add a, a, some detail on the wing and also on the tail. It's just like drawing with your thread so I can just add little details. That's what I love about free motion stitching is you can just you can just free form it and it's just really it's just really a lot of fun. But I also found this it's just in my my trim scrap box and I thought the color went really well and I'm just going to stick that on there it just adds a little bit of dimension to it. But that was kind of cool. Going around that saying Just catching that one last little bit that was sticking up there. Now I have to apologize. I had this on a weird time lapse and so it's kind of jerky. But I am, I cut a, a lining and a pocket the same dimension as that. And I'm going to add that to my little booklet. So I'm just going to have a, a fabric lining in it. But using the rest of those little, that little bird applique, um, cutting out another wing because I felt like the blue one didn't, the one I had left didn't work. And so I'm putting part of the tail on the pocket and the rest of the bird is going to be sitting up so it's like it's sitting on the pocket. And then that other saying is also going on there. And that one says, let's stay home and cuddle. Because a birdhouse is a home, right? So I thought the, the, both the home um, theme is kind of a cute, cute with this little um, bird theme. So now turning, the, flipping this so that I've got the right sides together, just marking a little opening of about three inches on that one side. I've got my pocket in there in, in between the layers and I'm just going to zigzag or just going to straight stitch all the way around about a half inch seam allowance I took 
and then flipping this, poking out the corners, and we'll be pressing this. Folding in that opening, and I'm gonna top stitch all the way around this. Now for this, I'm gonna add two signatures. I'm gonna just use my heat erase pan and do some marks. And then taking my, my big shot and just punching holes holes right in where those marks are. Now when you use this punch, you're gonna have to turn it over and you're gonna have to clip out a little bit of that, that fabric. Um, and then to finish these, I'm just taking it back to my sewing machine and going around and around those holes. It gives it a real organic look. You can also add eyelets or something um, in place of just doing the free motion stitching. I just think this is so easy to do and I, and I do like the look. I'm using a two millimeter elastic cord. And I just thread this in. I go down one hole, the other hole. And then on the back side is where you're really gonna see a lot of the, the cord. And very little of the cord shows on, on the front side or the, the spine of the, the little journal. And when I tie this, I tie it quite loose. And then you got your straps that you can put your little booklets underneath. Or you can add things really easily and take things out. For my pages, I just use just a bunch of different um, pages. There's cardstock, there's line pages, I have an old, some couple old journal pages in there. Um, and I'm going to mark this, I'm going to do a, a five hole pamphlet stitch, punching those holes. And then I'm going to thread a large hole needle with some heavier baker's twine. And just go up in that middle one and then work my way through the other holes. And then when I get back, it's gonna go right through that middle hole again and then gets tied off in the center. That middle piece there, that middle paper is actually an envelope. I kind of like and enjoy doing that, adding an envelope to these little booklets. You can either rip your pages or cut them with a breakaway knife. And that one is complete. I've got a little pocket there. And it's so simple just to add these. I'm gonna, there's two of them. I'm gonna, the other one is very similar that I'll also add to the other elastic. Bye for now, everybody. I do have this listed in my Etsy store if anybody's interested, and I will have that listed down below. Have a great week. Bye for now.